So we're now going to journey into making our driver um, more interactive. And in an attempt to make it interactive, here's the uh, you know kind of end goal that I would like to propose. So we have our LDD.KO, right? And then we load this into the kernel. And we saw that, you know, the init and the exit, um, the, the init and the exit functions essentially print hello world and goodbye world, right? And now what we want to do is make this interactive. And in terms of making it interactive, uh, what we want to do is somehow do like a read operation right and have the kernel module the ldd uh, you know do something and then as we read it again next time around uh, kind of you know do something again right and we want these actions to be as simple as possible so that uh, you know we can drive the point home uh, in terms of how we interact with a kernel module now there are ways in which well obviously um, the idea is that when, you know, or I should have mentioned that the partition here is denoting the kernel space and the user space, right? That's what the partition means here. Uh, and, well, what I was trying to drive home is we want to take this user space uh, read operation and essentially implement uh, some functionality or some uh, kind of, you know, uh, make make the uh, kernel module responsive to those reads, right? And then I was going to mention that the in order for us to do read, there has to be some sort of file somewhere on which we can perform read, and this file needs to be kind of observed by or tied to our kernel module, right? So let me kind of just repeat this again. So we want the ldd.ko to respond to a read operation, right? And then we want it to respond to the read operation coming from the user space. And then the question is, this read is on what? It is going to happen on what? And I'm suggesting that it needs to happen on some file, right? And then the question is, okay, what is this file? Who creates this file and all of that? Now, one of the things is that we would need to tie the Linux kernel module to this file so that, you know, the kernel module uh, catches the operation that is happening on this file system. So the kernel, essentially, is monitoring uh, this node, so to speak, right? Uh, a file system or a file node. So it is observing that. And anytime there is a read and write operation requested on that node or on that file, the kernel understands that, hey, 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 wait, hang on. This is tied uh, to the ldd.ko module that was loaded. And I must go and invoke, uh, let's say, the read or the write and so on and so forth, uh, you know, APIs that the driver uh, authors have implemented so that that's how it typically works the question then is what is this file and who creates it now there are like bunch of steps involved in creating this uh, particular file if we want to go create something called a character uh, you know type of file right and this is usually created in the slash dev slash you know something uh, there are steps involved in doing this so what we are going to do is uh, go towards a much simpler file system that allows us to interact with the driver and kind of peek into the operations of the kernel and that is called the proc uh, file system right and the proc file system is very interesting uh, first off uh, this file system is called the virtual file system. And why is it called virtual? Because these are not real files. All right? These are not real files. The slash proc, slash, uh, the slash proc directory, so to speak, has many file entries, directory entries, but uh, none of those are real. 
they are so to speak logical they are so to speak imaginary and what happens is anytime you perform read write operations on those the kernel essentially dynamically uh, puts or prints some output to the user right uh, so if you try and save certain values to them uh, you know they are not stored on the disk or in the memory that's the idea and when I, when you are trying to read it kind of prints certain status or information message from the uh, from the kernel so the proc file system then and it's a very special type of file system again it's a virtual file system no file in here is real they are just listings and when you read or write into those the kernel uh, kind of prints helpful information or takes in your um, you know input and passes it on to the kernel module these are not real files uh, that are saved on the disk that's the key idea and why are we wanting to go this route uh, it's because creating a proc file uh, is very straightforward from the kernel driver we can just you know during initialization create a file for ourselves and then have the user interact with this uh, virtual file and you know things will become a lot more clearer as we uh, you know develop our code but here's the idea then what we are going to do is uh, you know within the slash proc we are going to create some file right and let me just call that file i don't know pajama driver uh, let's just call it pajama driver or we can call it ldd uh, you know driver uh, or ldd file uh, something of that nature right anything is good enough here but that has to be within uh, the slash proc let's say this file is there and how we come to this file i'll tell you in a minute all right now the idea is that the user right the user will perform a read on this file right and the driver driver which is uh, let me call this ldd.ko so ldd.ko is monitoring reads on this um, file and anytime it uh, kind of you know um, so it is also kind of internally implementing what to do when this file is read and this is the part this is the part we will implement all right so anytime the read happens there is internally a counter as to how many times uh, you know read was called right so we kind of the number of count or we keep like a num uh, account as to how many times read was called and every time read was called we implement this variable so to speak uh, by one all right let's do let's do that and every time we read this let's say you know we print the message as to how many times the read happened let's keep uh, you know that as our end goal here so we want to perform a read and see some output uh, you know as a result of the driver handling the read cool so this is what we are after and now uh, let me just show you a few of um, um, you know the header files let me show you one header file that relates to this so we also kind of which i did not answer earlier which i referred for later was how do we go ahead and create um, uh, a proc file entry and the answer to this is that there is a kernel api available right there is a function that we can uh, you know execute from the during our initialization function right from where we were printing the hello world there if we go ahead and create a proc file uh, system entry uh, so that will lead to the creation of this right and again when we come to code this all becomes super uh, you know easy to understand and then the idea is that we then have to define something called proc uh, ops or proc operations right and we will somehow need to bind we would need to bind those proc operations uh, with this file entry right or this node and once we do that then like the kernel uh, or our kernel loadable module has created a file entry and tied operations on that file entry and this file we are saying will be within proc so it's a virtual or 
like a logical file it's not a real file that's stored on the disk that's very 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 important all right so hopefully if you have been able to follow so far let me go ahead and um, uh, let me go ahead and bring up uh, you know a, a header file and this this header file is available at this address let me change the color here uh, yes so it's available at this address which is github.com slash thorwald slash linux slash blob slash master slash include slash linux slash brock uh brock underscore fs dot h right and the fs dot h essentially talks about um the file system the brock file system dot h right perfect so what we want to do now is scroll down and you can take a look at this file uh, you know in detail uh, understanding this i i wouldn't suggest that or i wouldn't kind of think that you'll be able to understand this in one shot but let me go ahead and you know uh, introduce us to what different parts of this file are doing so this is a header file and uh, you know within the header file what we see here is uh, this proc ops right so these are nothing but proc operations uh, right and the proc is like a shorthand for operations and here then we see a lot of entries and each one of these entries are essentially uh, uh, representing a system call and these are like the operations that can be done or supported on a proc slash proc uh, you know uh, file entry right uh, entry within the slash proc essentially so what we are after then is implementing this read proc read system call right so we are going to support this and which means we will need to create a structure and then within that structure populate this entry and all other entries then by default become null or null pointers one other thing is at this point you should notice that this is nothing but a function pointer right so this is a function pointer um, and uh, in terms of writing code for drivers the two things that you have to be absolutely on top of in terms of the c language is the idea of structs and the second is the idea of function pointers right so um, that's that's kind of absolutely crucial and critical okay so we are going to implement this api uh, or a function and then pass that function somehow bind these operations to the proc file and that we will create all right now so this is what we are planning on in, uh, implementing and again as we implement things become you know more relatable and you'll understand it a lot better the question is how do we go about creating that uh, file entry the pajama underscore driver and the answer to that is this api right here right this one right here okay let me just scroll that actually i circled the wrong one uh, so this this api right here let me change the color yeah this api right here right so this api is telling us that it can create a proc entry and then we are going to provide the name of that proc entry the slash proc so this we need not give but this uh, pajama driver that we were talking about right this as a virtual file that we want to create this name needs to be provided here now these are some other details as to what the mode is and so on and so forth and if you see here we are also providing the proc ops right a pointer to the proc ops and what was proc ops uh, if we were to scroll up here well this is the proc ops and what does proc ops have it has function pointers or of various system calls right so then all of our next effort will come down primarily to implementing this one structure right to implementing this this one structure and the second thing it comes down to is um, essentially uh, creating a proc entry and where is that function uh yes so implementing or calling this api so there are only two things that we need to do 
you know, populate uh, the structure, uh, the proc op structure, and then create an entry. And the third thing we want to do uh, is essentially write an API, uh, you know, that can be put here, right here. All right. So what we'll now do is head towards that and write some more code and achieve this end goal.